Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower. When we last left off, we were finding lots of interesting things. We were sticking our heads in uh, fireplaces. We were finding maps, apparently. And we were running from Scissorman, because of course we were. We found a dagger, we found a zombie, and we got crushed a couple of times. Um, it was a good time. Now, we need to move on to the end. No one has taken care of these in a long time. Trees and plants are all overgrown. Yes, they are. Yeah, I know somewhere here is something we can fiddle with. Ah, this might be the valve to drain the fountain. Uh, yeah, I guess. There we go. I mean, it looked like she was just fiddling with nothing, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a loud mouth on YouTube that talks shit into a microphone for a few hours a week. Okay, well, let's go. Waterway into the fountain. Oof. I guess we're going to go deeper underground. There's a lot of ladders in this castle. Too many, you, you know, if you ask me, but there we are. So, what's through this door? Well, I guess Cage bought the farm. So, Edward, what are you up to? Oh, he's killed Kay. All right, buddy. So, it was you, Edward. <laughs> I guess the secret is finally out, Jennifer. But my name isn't Edward, it's Dan. <gasps> you don't mean... No! So, you remember me now. Jennifer! No! Come here, you scissor-fingered little runt. <laughs> Right, okay. So there's a hole about 30 centimeters wide. So I think we use this. <gasps> Open the door and Open show me the, the way. Yeah, fuck now, Dan. Oof. Oh, Nolan's not dead. Jennifer! Nolan! <laughs> now, we're gonna knife this guy. Hook! Get the fuck out of here. Good thing we found that dagger. Like, seriously good thing we found that dagger. I wonder how many days have passed since we were locked in here. Really? I think it's been only a night. Are we going to die like this? <laughs> I'm sure Helen will rescue us. You know, you're tough. Oh, God. No, you're just weak. Oof. 
Um, well, I guess there's no time for fucky wucky. You got close, Nolan. It's not worth the jail time, trust me. Well, we destroyed the entire castle in the process. Jeez. And I believe we've managed to get ourselves the A ending as well. We should have. I mean, a lot of people died, but they were mainly just, you know, <laughs> expendables. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's Clock Tower, at least half of Clock Tower, anyway, well, probably less than half of Clock Tower if you consider all the different endings, which, there isn't a huge variation with them, but we'll see what we can do with getting all of them. I'm not going to promise it, but we'll, maybe. Um, yeah, how has that aged? Well, ha, <laughs> uh, it's aged about as well as last time I played it, actually. Uh, it is what it is, you know. Um, it's definitely not one of the finest games ever created. But personally, for what it is, for a shitty little horror game that was farted out in, you know, the 90s, it's not bad. It's, it's got a good atmosphere to it. It's silly and has terrible characters but it has this rather unique way of um, not really having a lot of ambient music uh, there isn't loads of cinematics and stuff like that it's just very simple and I think less really is more um, but then I am looking at this game with a massive humongous pair of rose tinted glasses of course uh, voice acting is awful, but you expect that. It's not the worst, that is, you know, I, I think Clock Tower 2 was significantly worse in the, um, the uh, voice acting department. Uh, the audio was fairly good. I mean, the graphics as well, they're very basic, but they do the job. There's a nice long list of expendable characters which is for some reason always fun and this what also i think saves this game is it's really short and there's a lot of replay uh replayability to it as well um you know so i think that's but i don't have a huge amount to say about it to be honest have i enjoyed playing it again though that's the main question and yeah yeah, I did. I, I have enjoyed playing this again. Uh, I mean, technically, we've still got to do Helen's story, uh, which isn't much different, but it is different. You know, you get to see things from her perspective. And uh, I guess we're going to see who dies and who survives. Now, that whole business with Nolan is still really weird. Especially the way she, like, uh, gets on him at the end. And bearing in mind, she's 15. Like, I don't know what the age of consent is in Norway. But in the UK, it's 16. And she's 15. And he's, like, 26 or 27. That makes him a pedophile. And it's not like he's, you know, 16 or 17. Right? It gets a bit grey there, but... You know, when you're a decade older than the person you're trying to bang, you know where the, the, the line is drawn in the sand, okay? It's very odd, to say the least. I don't think they'll get away with that today, but it's one of those things that just kind of slipped under the radar, I think. Anywho. In the interest of saving time, let's skip. So, okay, so four people survived. So, you, I mean, I guess you can get more people to survive. 
but I think that requires a whole load of other research. Now, um, if I push, if we save it there, actually, I think if we go to ending lists, so A is cleared, and oh yeah, we did get E as well, didn't we? We should be able to get B. C, um, I do have a list here. So, interestingly enough, we can get A, B, C, and D are all in the castle. Uh, e is the only one that you can get outside of the castle, at least for Jennifer anyway. So, the B ending, we need to walk to the end of the passage, enter the room, and you'll find Scissor Man. So if we go to oh, I wish we could just yeah. So if I go to data load, I don't think there's any way of doing this without really using save states. Without actually playing through the entire game again. Nah, we're gonna have to use save states, I think. Which leads us back to here. So if we don't pick up the dagger. And we just rush our asses back. We're going to get back up here. And we're going to fast forward her getting up there. Because that takes a metric age. So let's go back into the room. Now I don't know if you can just not use the dagger. And still get that ending. I don't know if that works. But we're going to find out anyway. So we should be able to just go straight in. Do everything we just did. Except we don't have the dagger. Uh, we're on the wrong floor. Because of course we are. Because it would be too simple if we were on the right floor. Let's be honest. That would be too fucking easy. Alright. Come on. Sometimes that fast forward feature is just ridiculously useful. Uh, okay, now worst case scenario is Scissorman starts coming for us here. Tries to stab us in the back of the neck. Uh, there we go. Yes, we can drain the thing. We can drain the thing so it does the thing. There we go. Now we can go down. Now, I'm pretty sure there's one ending we can't get because if we look at ending D, we'll find Edward in this tunnel. So I think I'm going to have to go back through it and uh, actually aim to get ending D. But that's fine. But ending C, I should at least be able to get. Fast forward all of this. Edward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blow it out your ass, dude. No. You're dead. You just didn't realize. Okay. So now we can use the statue. Like so. And everything will play out the same. Except we have no dagger to save ourselves. Wow, they give you a lot of time here, don't they? No! I mean, I don't know where she got sucked off into. Oblivion, I guess, but... Whether there's more to it than that, I don't know. Some other world. Guess that's Nolan.
Well, she's definitely not coming back, is she? So that should be ending B. Survivor unidentified. All right. I guess there is one way we could actually cheese this. So if we go back here, and if I save the game, because we can save the game anywhere, pretty much. We have a no data here, so go on. Now, I don't know if we can get ending C. Um, because as far as I know, that involves walking into the main chamber and it says watch the video but i'm fairly sure we have to actually do something for that we have to actually um make different choices but let's see what happens you never know Maybe if we just wait for ages, Scissor Man will kill Jennifer. Otherwise, I'm going to have to, off camera, replay this section. Which is fine. You know, I don't mind doing that. Because it's only um, this end section that we have to replay. So, Or the castle bit, anyway, I should say. Now... Uh, I guess we just, we talk to, what happens if we just talk to him? What happens if we just leave it? Do we get an ending? No, we don't. We just get a dead end. That's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. So if I go to data load here, let's just try my theory. And then when we come back in the next vi uh, video, we will get the rest of her endings. Let's just try a theory. Because I'd like to have a save file with everything unlocked. But I don't want to go through this game 658,000 times. So let's just go for a dagger. A dagger with symbols carved on it. You now have a dagger. All right, let's get away from zombie Jesus. Before he does any anything too dodgy. Yeah, I'm not saying he's a Nolan, but you know. Let's try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to fuck things up pretty royally in the end of in the beginning of the game to get the ending C. So we'll see. See what I did there? We'll see. <laughs> Ah, yes. I'm here all week. Now, um, I want to go through here. Now, potentially, we could actually see if I save this game here. Checking the memory card. And we'll overwrite. In fact, we probably could have overwrit. Um,. Right outside. Which I might actually do. The interest of in the interest of science. Yeah, see, potentially we could just save the game here. So we definitely can't get ending C and ending D. But we can get that one. Alright. So Ah. 4K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, come on. Let's get this done. Let's use the statue. Now, let's see if we can get ending B with the dagger. I'm curious. Right, okay. So, if we don't use the dagger, we do still get this ending. That's kind of good to know. Interesting. 
Now, in theory, what will happen is, see, we got ending B, which is technically the second best ending we can get. So, you know, I mean, only Jennifer died and Tim and you know, got and uh, uh, Harris and I mean, Beth got stuffed into a wine barrel but but anyway they don't matter but technically out of the main characters um yeah cool a is cleared and b is cleared oh all right so we just need to get c and d interesting unfortunately like i say we can't go back and easily get those but I shall play through them off camera and see if we can get those. So, thanks for watching, guys, anyway. And uh, as always, till next time.